good? Yep. All right. What year is this thing? 2000, well, October 2019, so that makes it a- What was it, 2003? October 2019. <laughs> 2003. 2003. Another episode of Peep the Sneak, so uh, what you see here is a Tacoma, and it looks somewhat stock. I mean, we have no bumpers, we have no sliders, we have no rear bumpers, we don't have excess amount of lights, roof racks, or anything like that. Why is this truck special? It definitely stands out from, from most of the Tacomas that we do here in the shop, so let's check out why. So this isn't like one of our rig check episodes where we go super thorough, deep dive, and everything's been done to the truck. This is just a quick overview of this truck, peep the sneak episode. Uh, so why, why, why did kind of, why does this bring our attention? Why is this thing important? We have a lot of Tacomas going through the shop: suspensions, wheels, tires, bumpers, fabrication, all sorts of stuff. On the regular, probably maybe five to ten Tacomas each day. So. This one's a little bit different. We had this truck uh, for a couple of weeks in the shop and we did a slew of fabrication work and suspension work on uh, the front end and the rear end. So let me just kind of show you exactly why this uh, truck is really cool. Well, first is uh, it's got these massive 37 inch tires on beadlocks, which is a common thing, becoming more of a common thing nowadays, but this one has the matching RCLT uh, raw crawler kit for Marlin crawler. So. Now, for those that don't know, the RCLT for Marlin Crawler kit is a complete transformation of your front suspension uh, on the Tacoma. They make it for Tacoma, GXs, 4Runners. This particular set replaces pretty much everything that's in the front. So your upper control arms, your suspension, your steering, your lower control arms, as long with your uprights, are all brand new and upgraded, beefed up, huge, beefy, strong, just massive heavy duty components. So let me show you. All right, so. On this truck, we started by taking all the suspension off. We reinforced all the cams with Marlin reinforcement kit. So as you can see, to keep your alignment in check, all this gets beefed up. It gets braced up all four corners of the suspension. So Marlin RCLT HD lower control arms. Look at those things. I mean, absolutely massive. You get a whole bunch of clearance. If you're going over rocks, if you're going on any crazy terrain, everything just gets passed through on the bottom here. So we got an upgraded set of uh, RCV shafts and huge, massive upper control arm. So this suspension setup moves your entire suspension forward. So you got more room, more clearance to fit these huge 37 inch tires. Let me, uh, let me turn this wheel here. I'll show you how beefy these components are. Look how massive this upright is. I mean, the factory one, which is cast, a lot of times we guss at them. This is an entire replacement unit. So huge unit ball on top, huge upper control arms. I mean, again, just strength, brute force strength. Uh, along with the matching set of lower control arms. So again, these are made for clearance. You have all the room to, to fit your coilovers along with the upgraded set of RCV shafts. Now with the RCLT kit, you are required to upgrade your steering to a Land Cruiser 200 series steering rack. So factory one gets scrapped, the new one goes in, beefier, stronger, overall much more robust setup. This is the same exact rack that comes stock in our Copa Cruiser Land Cruiser 200. Now, uh, we kind of took it to next level with some uh, uh, add-ons on this build. So um, in addition to this Marlin crawler kit, we installed these massive, huge rat flow bumps. I mean, this is something that you will see on full-on buggies and crawlers. The customer had a set of those and we decided to make it work. So as he goes through terrain, these things uh, definitely put in work, keeping the truck nice and stable. Mm -hmm. All right, so even though it has 37 inch tires, wider front suspension, we made all this clearance and we got away with it with only a cab mount shop. So no relocation was needed, no firewall tubbing, none of that. This is all pretty much stock and everything clear. All because the front suspension is moved forward a couple of inches. So in addition to the uh, Ratful bumps, we got Ratful coilovers with external resis, uh, as well as Ratful uh, rear shocks. Speaking of rear shocks, let's see what we have going on in the back. So similar to the front, we kind of uh, started everything fresh. So we removed all the connections, all the mountings uh, in the rear suspension. So the truck has a Chevy 63 leaf spring conversion. So the factory leaf springs were scrapped to replace with these uh, uh, leaf springs from a Chevy. So this is a common mod in the raw crawler world. These leaf springs flex a lot. I mean, they ride really well. They're easily available pretty much at any parts store. These were here were purchased from O'Reilly's. Brand new set of Chevy 63s. Uh, factory mount was cut off. Rear mount was converted to a regular shackle hanger. So 
the traditional Tacoma setup is long gone and converted to this right here. So as far as the shocks themselves, a uh, set of rat flows along with archive garage relocation. So what this does, it moves your connection from, let's say here by the frame, all the way to the top. This is what gets you a lot more travel than stock. Okay, so it's a shock mount, but it's really more like a tower. So where the original used to hang here right by the frame, kind of at this level, um, it, everything gets, just gets moved up all the way to the top. So the factory one gets cut off, this one gets installed, so it goes to the top. The, the connection is as far as you can go. So right here, this is the bed. So it, go, it just it ties right into the bed. Matter of fact, there is a bolt here that, that connects the bed to the tower itself to give it more reinforcement and more rigidity to the bed itself. Similar to the front, we have a matching set of uh, rat flow bumps in the rear. Again, these are big boys. If this thing gets sent, these things will soak it up. It's a little low in this blinker fluid. The blinker fluid is running out? Yeah, it's running low. We got to fill it up. Now, like looking from this angle, the truck is just so minimal, so clean. I mean, we don't have any bumpers, no sliders. We just got the topper. I mean, really, there's, unless you know what you're looking at, it's kind of hard to say what's been done to it. Um, besides the fact that it's got 37s. Now, we did make some room. Uh, the factory bed size along with front fenders were cut. We removed about two inches to, uh, to make rooms for these 37s. To turn these 37 inch tires, we did gear the truck to 529 ratio, which is a pretty common ratio for these uh, third gen Tacomas. Plenty of power, plenty of torque to uh, keep this thing moving. So overall, this is a great platform. This is a great start. I mean, even though it's like a rock crawler setup, this uh, at this point, the truck can be really taken to any direction. It can be an overland build. It can be a, just a pure rock crawler build. So whatever armor, whatever accessory you add, it'll only make the things even nicer. So let's say if you go with the rear swing out, with the tire carry and all that, it would still make sense. This, this truck will be able to keep up on all the heavy duty trails. If you do a nice little low pro bumpers front rear with some minimal sliders, this would be a great light raw crawler wheeler. This is like a start. It's a platform that, that you can just continue on building. Um, I mean, it's got the raw crawler suspension in front, huge amount of flex in the rear. So. If you continue building this truck, I mean, it'll just keep up with it. So if add a bumper, add sliders, add racks, rear bumper, or not even add bumper, the way that it's set up now, I mean, it's ready to get down and wheel some pretty gnarly terrain. So why did this truck make Peep the Sneak? Well, this is a great example of a, of a stock looking truck that you can still daily drive around, you know, kind of blend in, but at the same time, be very capable and pretty much tackle anything that you can throw at it. Being a, a RCLT rock crawler suspension setup, this is technically still a long travel setup. Overall uh, width gets added by two and a quarter inches on each side. So you can see from the front end, it's a pretty wide setup. Besides the fact that this thing's built up, this is kind of one of my favorite parts about the truck. It's a manual, I mean, how often do you see a manual Tacoma? I love this truck. Nice six speed, let's go. Let's go. You know they have uh, standard keys only for manuals? They don't have like a remote fob with the push button start. Yeah, Why? because of manuals, you don't you, so you don't jump in gear. You have to physically turn the yeah for the dum dums. Up. For the dum dums, yeah. So if you get a fancy one, TRD Pro, you still get a standard key. Pretty cool, huh? Fun facts. Yeah, fun facts. Is it fun? I guess.